What's up, y'all? Um, so I woke up today and I started thinking, I got shit to do today. First thing when I when I first hear a beat, I just think of a few words that jump out that come to me. I'm gonna interact with a human woman. That's always fun. That's a, a spectacle in itself. And with this beat, it's a uh, it's reflection. Reflection is a word. It's remorse. It's um, onomatopoeia. It's um, anti-disestablishmentarianism. That's one of the words that comes out. It just comes, it just comes to my head. I'm gonna go have a little, uh, you know, lunch celebration with my cousin who graduated USC. He's like eight years older than me and just graduated college. You never, you know, that should be inspirational for anybody who hasn't started college yet. You're never too old. And honestly, the people who I've went to college with who were 10 years older, those are the people really doing something with their degrees. I'm serious. I knew a dude named, shout out to Bonte Hill. He was the older dude in class. We kind of laughed at him. Now he's hosting a show with Greg Papa. I was on the road so, 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 so. You don't know the Then after that, I'm going to the studio. It's like, what is today? What is my life right now? I kid you, call the number seven when I'm on the phone. So I kid you not, I'm in my phone when I send it, bro. I kid you not, I'm in the same when I'm on the phone. I kid you not, I'm in my phone, bro. I'm finna pray. I kid you not, I'm in the phone, bro. I think that's the hook. Is I kid you not. It's just the first. And that's what it's starting to be called. I kid you not. Apparently, Selena Gomez's engineer is going to be in there. Um, and her songs sound really good, as, as far as I know. So hopefully he can make this song sound really good. So this is the creation process. This is like, no words, just what I do is I figure out the cadence, I figure out the flow, maybe the melody. And then the hard part is putting the words there. This is the fun part, just like... I kid you not, I'm in a run around and run and see. I kid you not, I'm in a song, no, 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 no. Um, so I got it. What I'm doing right now is I got a right to the joint that's we're gonna do in the studio. Um, it's just because I don't want to wing it. That's something you don't want to just half ass. <laughs> I'm just trying to act all musical, but really, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing there. You know, you want to leave a good impression. You want this motherfucker to be like, damn, this dude really wants it. Because next thing you know, he could set me up with a coffee date with Selena Gomez, and we could, you know, ride off into the sunset on horses together. Um, so I'm just kind of doing it to maybe have Selena Gomez touch my uh, dick. I was down, but I'm getting up. I kid you not, it's funny. All I really need is love. I kid you not, they're treating validation like a drug. I kid you not, I started moving when I didn't rush. I kid you not, I kid you not, yeah. That's what I got so far. I'm not married to it, but I have the concept. Now that I have the concept, I'm gonna let it marinate, because usually something just amazing comes to me. Which is, it's hard, it's frustrating to admit, that the best shit you can't force. You just have to sit back and let it come to you and live life and get experiences and then it's just gonna happen when you least expect it. Look, I know what you're thinking. This isn't me, I get it. But sometimes you gotta clean up and you gotta grow up. I gotta compromise with the hat because I don't care how nice you want me to look, I'm not taking my hat off. My hat is my identity, it's me, and I don't know who I am without this hat. That's kinda sad. There's two things I do in these, uh, in these UAs, I either hoop or I uh, try to get girls. So yeah, these are my uh, everyday shoes. <laughs> I'm a soup up Stacy from the airport. It's Southwest, so I just assume it's gonna be a two hour delay. So, um, I mean, she was supposed to land like 30 minutes ago, but uh, I know that Southwest is delayed, so I've just been chilling. Leaving the house today, baby. We leaving the house, it's a miracle. It's the biggest accomplishment of the week is leaving the house. Let's do this.
Yeah, yeah, come on, man. Why you gotta go into my room with a bag of ruin your life? You know I'ma consume. Was on the right track and I thought I didn't need it, but I seen it on the kitchen table. Now it got me feeling. Now I'm back to my old ways. Chicago days when me and Joe stayed blow for the whole stay. We at the Cubs game, had it, gotta get it. I remember rolling dollar bills better than the wedding, and I don't even regret it. My boy upset about it. I said I'll never do it. He can't wrap his head around it. My life ain't good. My fucking head is crowded Do a lot of minutes later Now I'm feeling better about it This is where I park um, You know, I could park closer to the house But one of my favorite things to do in life is walk She can't stop looking how you know when it's a go I put that toothpaste on my tongue It gets the thoughts flowing Right now I'm thinking about 18 ways to take over the world now it's up to which way should I choose because I have 18 solutions how I'm going to take over the world just because of the walk from my apartment to my car. It's amazing. So as I'm driving to the airport, I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm realizing that I have a drooping eyelid. One of my eyelids just droops halfway down. Um, but this is a good thing because I was getting sick of girls throwing themselves at me. Just when you think you found the smart route where there's no traffic, guess what? There's millions of other people who think they're just as smart as you and now you guys are all bumper to bumper. You're bumper to bumper and that person in front of you thought that he was smart too. 10 minutes out from the airport, <laughs> starting to get nervous because I don't know whether or not I should put my hazards on get out of the car and hug her with two hands or just stay in the car have her put her shit in the trunk and give her the little one one armed hug from the seats I've been thinking about that for 45 minutes I just touched base with her she said she's been waiting for an hour so um, so much for Southwest being unreliable that was my bad Hi. what's going on how you doing oh my God, I'm so I'm good. You look amazing. Oh, so do you. Yeah. You look, you look gorgeous. Wow, it's gorgeous. so weird. Just dropped Stacy off. I was in the car with her for 45 minutes. I know I didn't film a lot of it. Um, you saw how she looked. She's uh, she's looking good, man. Her face just screams 350 guaranteed likes on Instagram. All this testosterone is in, in me now, and I uh, I'm ready to just you know put it to use. <laughs> Anyways, um, so now I'm on my way to go meet up with my cousin. I'm gonna be a little late, but you know when you're late it shows power. So I'm gonna meet up with my cousin. Uh, we're gonna have a graduation lunch. I'm gonna say congratulations. We're gonna propose a toast, and um, I hope I don't have to pay. I don't belong here. This is the fanciest restaurant I've ever been to. This is, this is, this is for my YouTube vlog. Uh, okay. <laughs> what do you say about the meal? They had too much tarragon in it. Too much tarragon. Too much, too much tarragon. All right. They did not put enough uh, lemon juice in the Bernays, so you couldn't. The tarragon just took over everything. Yeah, just too much. I, I didn't even have a tarragon. Too much tarragon. Right. That's Colin Farrell. That's Colin Farrell. With Denzel Washington. Imagine being in that car. I, sh I should go up and be like, I think this is my Uber. <laughs> it's just a great day. It's, don't think that this is what I do normally, but it's just one of those days. I talked to two girls that were really good looking, sat in the car with one girl for like an hour, so that was awesome. Then I went to go have dinner for free. Shout out to my rich uncle. Then something funny happened on the way out from the restaurant. Colin Farrell and freaking Denzel Washington were shooting a movie and I saw I saw one of the greatest actors of all time act in the flesh. Granted, all he was doing was walking down the street, but the way he walked, he walked with serious conviction. Only one man could walk like that, and it was Denzel Washington, and we saw it. It was, it was unbelievable. And I parked for two hours in a place that was only one hour parking, didn't get a ticket. This day couldn't be any better. We're going to the studio, we're gonna lay down. I got a feeling I'm gonna lay down the best song of my life. It's just the energy, man. I feel it in the air. Okay, we in the studio now. My boy Harrison is cooking up heat. This kid is way too good looking to be a producer, but don't tell him that. I was down, but I'm getting up. I kid you not, it's funny. All it ever took was love. I kid you not, it's done as validation like a drug. I kid you not, it started winning when I did it wrong. I kid you not, so I've been down, but I'm getting up. I kid you not, it's funny. All it ever took was love. I kid you not, they treat him validation like a drug. I kid you not, but all I really need. I kid you not. Diamond Bobby's trying to be gangster. <laughs> I, th I, 
think you watched straight out of Compton before you got here. <laughs> in bed right now and I just realized that I totally forgot to sign off the vlog um you know we made the song the song sounded pretty good I'm afraid to hear the song because when I hear it I'm gonna be like ah uh, there's certain things we gotta change and then it's just gonna become a whole ordeal I already know it but I mean I put it on snapchat and I got some bites I got a lot of people responding saying I liked it so that's a good start it's been a it's been an eventful day and I feel like today is a day that kind of got me back on my feet got me out of the funk thanks to my homegirl Stacy who had me pick her up at the airport my cousin Ben who invited me to his lunch and the dude Harrison who invited me to the studio I got invites to three different things I, I went to all of them I felt like I had a productive day and I feel like I'm back on my feet so YouTube I love you until the next one